from WFSB. This is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Tweed. Here's a look at some of our top stories. The funeral for Andrew D. Domenico drew friends, loved ones, and roadside workers from all over the state. The state DOT worker was struck and killed by a car while working alongside the highway last month. The 26-year-old grew up in Meriden and is being remembered for his love of sports, his unwavering work ethic, and his generous heart. Police say the driver who struck and killed D. Domenico was under the influence. People are out of their home in Shelton after a car slammed into a building. The incident happened at an apartment complex on Bridgeport Avenue. Crews responded after the accident and had to free the driver from the car. They were taken to the hospital. No one else was hurt, and people are not allowed in the building until necessary repairs are made. No word yet on how this happened. And as we get a check of your forecast, it's still quite humid tonight. Temperatures in those 70s. Any downpours do come to an end. And by tomorrow morning, expect some fog out there. Throughout the day tomorrow, though, it climbs temperature-wise to near 90 inland. A bit cooler right along the shoreline. But we've issued a first alert beyond that. We're looking at Monday and Tuesday for some of those very hot temperatures combined with the humidity to give us those feels like temperatures near 100. Beyond that, Wednesday and then especially into Thursday through the end of next week, looking at unsettled weather with humidity, showers, and maybe even some heavier rain. That's your forecast. Thanks for watching.